In our paper, Engaging Head and Heart in Disciplinary Learning, we take a closer look at the experiences and processes that learning in a discipline entails. We draw on the findings of a case study of a learning program in economics at a South African university. Economics is often regarded as a difficult discipline, marked by high failure and dropout rates and concerns about the quality of teaching and learning. So this was fertile ground for exploring disciplinary learning. The study was framed by threshold concepts theory that has evolved from the work of Mayer and Land in 2003, and that takes a wide view of learning, encompassing both cognitive and affective aspects, as well as contextual considerations. Work within this orientation has not yet fully explored the dynamics of disciplinary learning or the factors that might drive, enable, or obstruct learning. So this is where we hope to contribute to the conversation. As our vehicle for exploring disciplinary learning, we ran a tutorial program in intermediate microeconomics that was infused with threshold concepts thinking and emphasized active learning and peer group discussion. We used interactive qualitative analysis in which the students themselves analyzed and interpreted the data they generated in focus groups and individual interviews. This gave us rich descriptions in the participants' own words of the elements that made up their learning and how these influenced each other. Drawing on these student accounts, we abstracted a model that represents and explains some of the inner mechanisms or dynamics of disciplinary learning. This is the head and heart model of our paper's title. It shows disciplinary learning as a challenging and transformative process that demands that students engage with both head, cognitive and metacognitive aspects, including how they see learning and their role in it, as well as how they reach conceptual understanding of disciplinary ideas and develop a disciplinary gaze on the world, and with heart, aspects relating to motivation and will, their emotions and the inner psychological resources they bring to bear on learning, as well as their identity. The head and heart aspects are equally important, connected, and potentially reinforcing in a perpetual process of growth and transformation. In our case, the peer group-based pedagogy supported both aspects. In the paper, we elaborate the interrelated components of the head and heart loops and how they affect each other. We hope this head and heart model will have resonance beyond the immediate context of economics. We think it may offer insights that are transferable across disciplines and point to ways in which we can support and facilitate learning, especially for students who struggle with the transition to university study and the challenges of disciplinary mastery.